let's keep browsing my sketchbook. The beginning is in the sketchbook and bullet journaling uh, video that I will put a link a bit here and there. And so we were around at this uh, page where I started to make a bit of uh, calligraphy. And so I added a bit of uh, poetic uh, doodling. That's quite a sort of a naive uh, result, but I guess I was in the mood uh, for it. And then a bit of writing on a brown paper. And I put this uh, fun uh, washi tape uh, to cheer up a bit uh, this uh, page. The next one is quite a fun page. In fact, I had this idea while working on the thumbnail for the sketchbook and bullet journaling video. And you know, this top view with all the creative things all around on the sketchbook, it gives me this idea of a mise en abyme of the sketchbook. And I think it's uh, really quite fun. I was rushed uh, this day, not feeling uh, so good and not feeling like uh, drawing carefully. So the sketches are really, really loose, uh, just kind of a uh, rush uh, sketch. But at the end, with a bit of color and I made a sort of other doodle, more TD doodle the next day in the page. The overall is uh, quite uh, fun and it also records quite well uh, creativity with several kind of expression and look and rendering and emotions. So I quite uh, like the page. sketching it, uh, feel free to check uh, the video. to put my writing on a red piece of paper and uh, the direction I glued it uh, gave quite a nice uh, dynamic to the page. I was opening my door to go out and I saw these uh, little leaves and plants just uh, on the floor behind my door and it was my uh, neighbor Veronique. She brought me some cuttings of one of her plants so it was so adorable. So I pasted here the envelope that uh, was with the plants as a record of this uh, lovely attention. Then umbrella day. These days were so lovely, the weather was so beautiful and sunny and I spent so many time on my terrace enjoying uh, this uh, spring uh, coming. I really like painting umbrellas so that's a good uh, reason why I am going to paint it, you know, on this uh, wonderful lovely blue sky and uh, yeah, white or light uh, umbrellas are wonderful to paint using negative painting to have this great sense of light, you know, the sun just uh, casting at the top and a bit of uh, shadow underneath and the shadow on these parts too are really interesting to trying to catch and uh, yesterday the weather was so lovely I had to pick uh, the umbrella from my uh, garage to put it uh, on my terrace, so that's a bit of uh, the thing of these days and so that's why I'm going to paint it. I'm going to try to paint the uh, roofs with a flat brush. So the other day after Patty Baker workshop, I bought this one in the art store. So, I don't know, I may try to play with it. I can't even dip it uh, in my uh, water pot, of course. So I'm going to try to dip it in a, in a mix in the palette or something. <laughs> Trying to have fun and always experimenting with painting. 
<laughs> this is quite impressive. The brush is the same width as the top of my as my palette. Oh, this was uh, some uh, paints gray that uh, Michał Dajewicz uh, gave me. So it's going to be paint gray with a bit of maybe transparent red oxide and Piemontite and it seems uh, to separate a bit. So. <laughs> So trying new tools always uh, give you some new things to think about and to try. I can't really wash the brush. <laughs> so it's separating. I am wondering if it's because I uh, sort of tried to dip it half in the water pot. Carrefour Fidelity card time. It's uh, still a bit too wet. So now let's get serious. <laughs> part is going to be white and I'm going to put a really light wash, a bit of a yellowish light wash to give a sense of light on the other part. So I do this first layer of uh, value and then after it dries I can add a bit of darker here and here to get the sense of the umbrella darker and darker when you go to the right. And I a bit of forgot the church while uh, sketching the houses, so I'm going to try to fit a bit of the tower maybe in here. Just a silhouette, sort of a bluish, purplish silhouette. So you want to have a sort of variegated effect with the light just slightly darker to slightly darker and the underneath is always darker than this part so this is darker than this one, this is darker than this one. I quite enjoyed making this sketch and it was fun to do but it was quite a struggle because I had to be in the shade to sketch because it was uh, so hot but I couldn't really have the angle of view I wanted with the church and the umbrella and everything so I sort of tried to make up the view a bit from memory or something and I'm not good at it at all I do a better job I recording what I see so that's why the umbrella ended up so tall and at some time the umbrella was just uh, behind the house it, which didn't have any sense and I messed up uh, the church and everything but I still like the feeling of uh, the sunshine and the umbrella and the blue sky of these days so you know even if your sketch is not uh, your best uh, work that's always a reason you can like it I guess because you enjoyed doing it because it's a nice recall of a memory because there is something special maybe you learn from it so that's the most important probably 
and uh, this page was a bit uh, boring just with some uh, writing but that day I worked on the binding video and as soon as I put this little piece of uh, thread that was just uh, on my table on the page suddenly just uh, took sense and it was just uh, slightly more cheerful so I like the special touch then I found this uh, lovely plant to walk by so a bit of a struggle uh, to find a nice quiet place uh, with a bit of shade uh, to walk and to enjoy uh, this uh, afternoon and I finally found this uh, lovely pond. That's so beautiful. I was so surprised to see so many fishes in the water. Look at that! That's just uh, stunning! And then this uh, nice man came and he talked to me and he told me about the name of the fishes and everything. So that's so nice. And he told me that this special moment with all the fishes in the water and you see them so well. It's just only one day or two days. You come tomorrow, you don't see them anymore. So that's quite uh, incredible So that I just uh, came in this place and discover it uh, today. And I was uh, welcomed by uh, hundreds and thousands of uh, adorable fishes. So I sketched them with my uh, fine liner and I kept uh, the page uh, to the right uh, to make uh, maybe a sort of more refined study of uh, one of the fishes. From a photo I could find now on the internet now that I know which uh, species uh, it is. So I am not so used to sketch animals and they move so fast but I would be interested in uh, sketching them a bit more even you know after a photo once you saw them with your own eyes. <laughs> There is this place where there are so many little old flat boats, probably for fishermen. I'm going to explore it a bit more. I can see some lovely reflection and kind of old rusty stuff, so really inspiring. Today I sat on my stool I chose this subject because I like how the second boat has some clunk at the top that catch the light really nicely and I like that the first one has this nice reflection so that's what attracted my eyes. Oh, lovely with the duck! step a bit crazy on this paper, but fun. 
I shouldn't move it too much, it's <laughs> dripping more now. <laughs> Step two with the boat. I'm going to add the shadows on the boat and the reflection. I forgot so to bring some watercolor paper, so I had to try to paint it on this paper, which is not watercolor paper at all. Um, it didn't turn out so badly, but you can tell in the darker areas that it got a bit muddy, and that's because of the paper. I struggled a bit to get the darks and uh, to have uh, the paper react uh, as I am uh, used to. And I took also uh, an Instax photo. I just made an Instax photo! It's still white. Yeah, that's it. It's starting to appear. It's always so magical to see appearing the photo. My framing seems okay. So this was the last black and white photo in my camera, that's why I thought this backlight uh, scene could be perfect in black and white. And then I am going to put a color film, because spring and color. <laughs> the photo may be better than the painting, probably. <laughs> so sometimes they get a bit dark, I have to get used to it again. I will show you when it's finished. I like how the photo is glossy, that's, uh, that's not a print, that's a real photo, just so stunning. It'll be nice in my sketchbook! <laughs> I still struggle a bit with the exposure, probably this one is uh, still a bit dark, sometimes too dark, sometimes too light, uh, but finally I think the black and white and I had fun adding some black and white things on the page so that it would be nice for the design. That's it for the adventure for these few days, I hope you enjoy the work and following my creative adventure. I know that these kind of videos are a bit less searchable than the other one with the watercolor palette or urban sketching or journal binding or everything, so feel free to share them with your friends if you think they can like them and I'm always so happy when people tell me oh, I'm so glad I found your channel and I answer oh I am so happy you found me as well this kind of bit of a problem uh, you know to be found by the people that could like you so yeah feel free to spread the world with creativity subscribe if you like and I tell you see you next time